Now, yesterday we told you about the passing of longtime U.S. Congressman Donald Payne, who died at age 77 after his fight with colon cancer. Now, during his time in Congress, Payne used his influence to help millions of people in sub-Saharan Africa by securing tens of millions of dollars to fight malaria and HIV AIDS. He also helped to pass a resolution declaring the killing in Darfur to be genocide and authored the Sudan Peace Act, facilitating famine relief. Now, joining us to discuss the life and legacy of Donald Payne is Amira Woods, co-director of foreign policy in Focus at the Institute for Policy Studies. So ha good to have you back, Amira. And I'm sorry, under the circumstances. Yes, it's really, it's really been a sad occasion. You really know, tough. after the news broke yesterday, there were a lot of teary eyes in Washington. Everybody you just so talked to in those circles really expressed grief. You were one of them. Clearly, from Newark to Nigeria, you read in the media, you mm -hmm. heard this, the, just the incredible outpouring of grief, of sadness, knowing that this, you know, many called him the son of Africa, right, yes, from yes. Newark, um, champion for Newark, but was really a champion for all of us, from those in his district to those across the Atlantic throughout Africa who knew that he stood for justice, for democracy, for human rights, but really just had this incredibly big heart, a humble person mm -hmm. who could speak to presidents and to his constituents in the same way, same who opened way. up his office willingly, who did constituent services, people in Newark tell you better than anybody. Uh, but for many of us in the Africa advocacy community, he mm -hmm. was our champion. Tell me about your personal interactions with him. What, what insight do you have for us about who he was really one on one? Yeah. When you think about Congress people, they often talk at you. Donald Payne was one of the few who had listening sessions. He would gather us together, those who are the Africa advocacy community members here in Washington, mm -hmm. on a regular basis to have mm -hmm. these listening sessions to understand what were the concerns for those most connected to the continent, mm -hmm. what were the concerns that he could bring forward through his leadership of the Congressional Black Caucus, through his leadership uh, as, as, of course, now minority member, but for so long as ranking member of the subcommittee on Africa, now the subcommittee on global health. Mm -hmm. um, he has been really took time oh, a, ch a champion who listened, you know. Uh, in fact, using the word champion, Congressman Jesse, J Jesse Jackson Jr. from mm -hmm. Illinois described him as, or said rather, Africa has lost its greatest champion in Congress. And among other um, outpourings, we have, um, I just want to run a short clip of Congressman Patrick Meehan of uh, Pennsylvania who mm -hmm. had this to say. The loss of Representative Donald Payne from New Jersey, who, who passed away this morning. As many of you know, in this room, he was the chairman and ranking member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee Subcommittee on Africa, Global Health, and Human Rights. Uh, he was a tireless advocate for the African people and the continent's many challenges, and he'll be missed. Uh, but his legacy on the important work uh, will certainly live on, and he's an inspiration to, uh, to all of us. Telling, uh, talking about this tireless advocate for Africa, he did so much on every issue, from the Congo, from the Sudan, from Somalia, he was involved. Give me a tangible thing that you'd say we're going to really miss now that pain has gone, that he was doing every day in Congress. He was the center point for issues connected to Africa, the gatekeeper, so mm -hmm. to speak, you know. When people came from Africa, whether they were human rights advocates, NGO leaders, or heads of state, mm -hmm. they had to make that call to Donald Payne. They, they knew that he and his staff were the most knowledgeable on Africa, were the most active in terms of, of, of advancing an agenda in the interest of the continent. Um, so if you think about, you know, all the work that he's done from Nigeria, you know, in Insisting that there went. be calls for democracy. He went to Somalia when no one else was going to Somalia. He almost right? got shut down. His exactly. Plane. But I want people to hear Congressman Payne himself, yeah. and mm -hmm. I think we could get a sense of the passion that he had. Yeah, so absolutely. we have a little clip of him. I'd like to see us also get back to some of the development programs that we had prior to the pandemic of HIV and AIDS. The whole question of um, childhood inoculation, for example, the whole question of uh, dealing with education, um, the whole uh, business of attempting to have um, trade with Africa so that they can uh, become independent of aid. 
So I'd like to see more development assistance go in. Who will carry the baton now that he's gone? Hard to say. You have some that, that, that may uh, step up. Uh, Keith Ellison has already been in, in leadership in a lot of ways when it comes to issues of Africa. Barbara mm -hmm. Lee, of course, tireless in her dedication to Africa. Mm -hmm. um, Yvonne Clark, Bobby Rush, there are quite a few. Um, I think um, many will understand the incredible gift that mm -hmm. Donald Payne uh, has been, not only for, for Africa uh, and for Newark, but we have to remember he also did extraordinary work on Northern Ireland and the yes. peace mm -hmm. process there. Exactly. Um, so his own constituency, the 10th district in New Jersey. Without so, a doubt. You know, yeah. and, uh, and but and we're glad that he our, gave us so much time. Absolutely. And our hearts go out to his family, most thank of you. all. Miss Woods, thank you so much for the insights on Congressman Donald Payne, who passed away yesterday. Amira Woods is co-director of foreign policy in focus at the Institute for Policy Studies right here in Washington.